Sarah Canuel here and I am right along the Winnesquatucket River. It's a really special, really important river that was a huge part of the Industrial Revolution way back in the late 1800s. We're going to learn a little bit more about this super special river and why there's certain rules when we're playing in or near the Winnesquatucket River that we want to make sure to follow so that we stay safe. So I'm here at Riverside Park, which is in the lower section of the Winnesquatucket River. And the lower section of the river looks a lot different than the upper watershed. There are lots of old mills along the river. So the mills were built on the river in the 1800s because the river's flowing water could be used to generate energy that powered the mills. In the mills, people made lace, clothes, jewelry, and other products, all thanks to the Winnesquatucket River. The mills were also good because they gave people jobs. Lots of people came from all over the world to work in these mills. But unfortunately, the mills weren't all that good. Many of the mills dumped their production waste directly into the river. Today, many of the problems we still have with river pollution come from the waste the mills dumped in the river, even though they haven't been putting their junk in the water for almost 50 years. Back when the mills were running, the river actually changed color from day to day, depending on what color dye the mills were using for their products. So sometimes you could walk down to the river and it would be green or orange, depending on the color of dyes that they were using each day. I don't know about you, but if I was a fish, I wouldn't be too happy swimming in an orange river. The old mills aren't the only source of pollution in the river. Just before the North Providence Line in Smithfield, treated sewage and waste first comes into the river. This is another reason we should not swim in the lower part of the river. Bacteria and germs in the sewage can make us sick. At this point in the river, we don't want anybody to be touching the water. From here to Providence, the river is the town line that separates North Providence and Johnston. The fencing around Centerdale Manor is meant to keep people out of the river because dioxins and PCBs poisonous substances that were left by the mills have been found in the soil along the banks of and at the bottom of the river. The soil at the bottom is called sediment and contains the most chemicals. Dioxins and PCBs are chemicals that can make you sick. These chemicals get into the fish because the fish live in the water and eat things that live in the river sediment. That's why there's warning signs. Danger, river fish are not safe to eat. Contact with dioxin and PCBs over and over again can lead to major health problems like cancer. It's really important that you follow the do's and you don't do the don'ts. Although the river has been polluted over time, there have been a lot of amazing improvements along the Wunasquatucket. Each year, we're seeing more critters like fish return back to the river to spawn and better water quality levels. In partnership with the Environmental Protection Agency, the dioxin contamination site is being cleared up. We are expecting the dioxin to be removed from the river within the next five years. This does not mean we need to stop following the do's and the don'ts of the river, but it's a sign and a huge step in the right direction for the overall health of the river. We hope you get to take some time to go outside and enjoy the beautiful Wunasquatucket River. Thanks for watching.